Hey guys, welcome back to Ritu here today with a new video. Now Marvel Rivals is finally here. It comes out today. If you're watching this, there's probably a good chance it's already out. And I mean, you can just go play the game. But for those of you that are trying to keep up with like what they've been revealing, what they've been adding, I've decided uh, last month, like earlier in the month, I put together the first two weeks of reveals leading up to launch. And the rest is now going to be the final two weeks. And of course, today is launch. So if you've missed any of this stuff, if you're excited for them to come out, if you're checking out the game, you'll be all caught up to date. Now, last time we left off with Day 14, which was Hawkeye and his gameplay, and uh, I did not show the skin, though. It was like a few minutes after I finished uh, editing. So there was the Hawkeye Galactic Fangs skin. It looks like this. Um, the reveals in this final two weeks are going to be a lot more interesting than the first two weeks as well, because it's mainly new characters and uh, maps and everything like that. But then after Hawkeye, on the 13th day until launch, was the Hela Goddess of Death skin. And uh, this is inspired by Thor number 354 from 1966. Um, it's kind of a loose interpretation. If you've seen the one from the comic, uh, it's a lot different than this in my opinion. But it's a cool looking skin for Hela. Then on the 12th day was the Scarlet Witch Multiverse of Madness skin, inspired by the film of course. Uh, nice mother skin. This is uh, one of the nicer skins. It looks really cool. Um, there's a lot of these MCU inspired skins. There's gonna be a lot of them today that we're looking at as well. Last time we looked at a few. There's like a Namor one. There's all kinds of stuff. You guys can check out the first video if you're interested in that. Following that was the Magneto Master of Magnetism skin from uh, Uncanny X-Men from 1963. Pretty cool looking skin as well. Uh, the comic ones are always fun. And then following that release, uh, 10 days to launch, was the Storm Mohawk Rock skin from Uncanny X-Men uh, 173. This skin looks really sick. I mean, they all look really good. They're doing really good work with all the skins and just the whole vibe of the game, the art style, everything. Um, but yeah, that's the Storm skin. Then we got a little bit more crazy with the Psylocke skin here. This is Psylocke Vengeance from Uncanny X-Men 256. Uh, this skin is fire and I'm I'm just gonna say all right it's not in the image but uh, the bottom half of this skin is quite good as well uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a nice skin then they put uh, Venom Space Knight again which we had already saw uh, that was in the last video and from a long time ago then following that was uh, Clintar the new map was shown off Clintar looks really cool it's got like walls and bridges that you can actually shoot that are like symbiotic and they'll move you can open and close kind of like a choke point you can open and close like a bridge um, it's pretty interesting clintar is a nice like open map too i'm not sure if it's going to be used for conquest as well as the other modes but i'm excited to check it out i'm editing right now and i also forgot the hydra base that's a map as well it looks really good look at hydra base wow <laughs> two good looking maps hey and uh, following that we're now one week from launch with the spider-man no way home skin uh this is the uh like iron spider from no way home basically the suit that is like the most disliked <laughs> hated mc spider-man skin probably this one and like the inside out black and gold one those are like the most hated skins <laughs> or the uh, suits for spider-man from the mcu but uh, hopefully we get the final swing, you know, fingers crossed, from the end of No Way Home. Uh, that would be nice. But again, that's a skin there from MCU, so pretty cool. Then there was a little bit of an announcement about Twitch drops, which I might as well include for you guys. Um, from the December 6th to the 31st, so basically the whole like month of launch, uh, if you watch up to four hours, you can get a skin for Magneto, and uh, you'll also get an emote, a nameplate, and a spray. And then from the 20th to the 29th, so like the week of Christmas, um, if you watch for just one hour, you get a spray there as well. So nothing crazy, but I mean, the skin for Magneto is just a recolor, but it's still cool, you know, it's something. You can just literally put Twitch on, AFK, don't even watch it, do all your work or whatever. Um, then following that was the Luna Snow Shining Star skin. Um, I'll try and find some footage for you guys. I don't want to go too crazy, but uh, since literally, like the game's going to be out when you're watching this anyways. But this is a really cool skin of Luna Snow, which is like a big fan favorite. And this is an original skin too. They uh, cooked this one up themselves and it looks really nice. Um, something interesting to keep in mind too, all these like legendary skins, like these really insane ones, all also have like a ending MVP highlight intro thing that's unique to that skin. And then I believe they have like an emote or something too, or like a nameplate or something like that. 
but I know they have a special animation for all of them, which is really cool. All right, so now we're getting to the final five days. This is where they started to get real spicy. We're basically getting a new character, new gameplay every day, starting with Squirrel Girl. Um, we'll do the skin first. This is Squirrel Girl Urban Hunter. This is uh, from US Avengers number one from 2017, kind of recent. Um, pretty cool looking skin for Squirrel Girl. And then they uh, had the gameplay for Squirrel Girl as well, and she looks very fun. She's got like some AoE splash damage, kind of like grenade launcher type gameplay with a slingshot. Um, not quite Junkrat or anything, but kind of cool. Uh, she looks like a lot of fun. She's got a cool movement ability as well, bouncing on her tail. And then after that, we were four days to launch with Iron Fist. Uh, this is Lin Lei Iron Fist, or Lin Lee, however it's uh, pronounced, who, you know, isn't usually the Iron Fist. Usually it's uh, Danny Rand, but this is like Swordmaster when he was Iron Fist for a little bit. I don't know how it works exactly, but uh, because he was Swordmaster originally, there is a Iron Fist Swordmaster skin from uh, Swordmaster number one. Kind of cool. I mean, Swordmaster is a cool character. I don't really know him. I only know him from Marvel Snap. But, uh, cool looking skin, it's got a sword. I don't know, I haven't seen the gameplay uh, of the skin. I don't think they were allowed to use the skin. But I'm not sure if it changes his animations, because, I mean, he has a sword, right? You'd think that all his punches and stuff would now be a sword, or like, and like the parry would now be a sword block and stuff. If they went that hard, uh, I'm very impressed. But, I mean, it could just be a sword on his back, which is understandable, because it's a lot of work for a skin. But it could be cool anyways, Swordmaster skin. Who knows? Uh, following that, three days to launch, Black Widow gameplay. This is where the entire community sort of had a collective meltdown because this is the more or less Widowmaker into uh, into our game, Black Widow. She has this sort of ABS, uh, sometimes one-hit potential sniper. Um, it's not as crazy as it looks um, in the video, but she is very strong. She's also very susceptible to dive. I mean. I think it will be a problem, like lower skill when like or like Smurf type stuff. But I think if your team is good and coordinated, and like you know what you're doing, and then also map dependent. But we'll see. Uh, Black Widow, anyway, she looks like a lot of fun. I'll say that much. She uh, has a really cool Black Widow white suit from the uh, MCU Black Widow film as well. I really like the skin on this one. The hair looks really good. The whole everything looks great on that skin. There was a announcement that there's a free Iron Man uh, skin, Iron Man Armor Model 42, for I believe just everybody. Like all you have to do is uh, on launch day on their Twitter and stuff like that. I think Discord too. They're gonna put up a code that you can redeem uh, for this skin, so everyone will get that Iron Man skin. Kind of cool. And now two days till launch, Cloak and Dagger are revealed. Finally, not a duelist. This is an actual strategist, so like a healer. Um, and you play as both of them at the same time. You switch back and forth between Cloak and Dagger. Um, you can heal your teammates if you shoot them, and damage your enemies if you shoot them, that kind of vibe. They also have like a blind and a flashbang and all kinds of cool stuff. They seem like a really high skill level, kind of fun uh, character to play. And their skin, Growth and Decay is absolutely insane. And this is, again, an original skin. And this shit looks fire, I guess. This is a nice looking uh, skin for Cloak and Dagger. Growth and Decay. So I've got that one coming. And then to the today, uh, yesterday, one day to launch, was Wolverine's uh, gameplay reveal. They even showed the old uh, fastball special where Hulk can pick him up and throw him, which is uh, always fun. But, uh, you know. Wolverine, I think out of their 33 characters, <laughs> they only missed on Wolverine, and then if we want to go into the leak territory, I think that uh, Fan uh, Human Torch also looks whack, but Wolverine uh, looks rough, but thankfully, I mean visually, he looks fun to play, but he looks strange. Thankfully, we have the Deadpool and Wolverine, Wolverine skin uh, to compensate for that. Pretty cool skin, and I mean, is it too much to infer? that Deadpool will be coming down the line, hopefully soon, you know, just based off of this. Keeping in mind also, all these skins are gonna be like paid, like they're not, some of them will be on the pass, some of them's from last video, uh, like the Imperial Protocol and stuff are on the pass, which I guess that's kind of announcement-y. Um, there was like this image of the battle pass, so you can kind of see that like, there's seven pages on the pass, and uh, you can unlock cool skins this way. All we've seen as far as the Imperial Protocol for Mantis and for Black Panther are both on the pass, which is pretty sweet. Don't know what else is there. But they've also stated now, on the last day before launch, that any battle pass you buy 
is not timed. So like buying it is timed, like season zero, you get it during season zero, but it never runs out. You don't have to grind like crazy. You don't have to like worry about FOMO or play like nonstop. Um, if you bought it, you know, you paid for it, you have it. You can unlock it at your own pace way into the future if you want to. So I think that's pretty cool. And they do have the currency on the past that will pay for itself back. I'm not sure if it pays for the whole thing back because there are also hero challenges within the game that you can exchange for the paid currency as well. Like they reward you. Um, it was kind of like that in the alpha and the beta, but the numbers were a lot higher there because they wanted people to buy skins and stuff to like just for fun or whatever. But uh, you can earn the premium currency by playing for free. Supposedly, supposedly you can eventually, without paying ever, like get a pass and then you can get the currency back off the pass. So at least there's that, you know, free to play friendly stuff like that is really nice, very pro consumer of them, very good of them in my opinion. But today the game comes out, uh, five hours after this video goes live, the game is going to be out. So if you're watching this, go play the game, you crazy silly goose. One last thing too, they have announced officially in an AMA that one hour before launch, so six hours after this video goes live, if it says, you know, six hours ago, um, one hour before launch, there's a mysterious reveal, something new to announce, and then the game comes out right away. So that's exciting too, keep an eye out for that if the game still isn't out for you. But if you're just kind of like interested in the game, now you're all caught up to date on everything they've done, all the cool new characters that they've shown off. Um, we know there's a good few more like ready down the line. Season 0 only goes for one month, and January is going to be Season 1, they're going to be adding even more new heroes by then. They may add some between now and then, they're kind of crazy these devs, but I wouldn't expect it, because I mean they just dropped 7 <laughs> new ones, when like 2 would have been fine. <laughs> but uh, they're really cooking with the content, so I mean, new heroes in January. And uh, yeah, one month season zero. The pass is only half the size of a normal pass, and it's also only half the price of a normal pass. So I believe it's five USD. You get the battle pass sort of thing, and like I said, it should pay for itself, or at least partially. So pretty solid deal. You may be able to even buy this five dollar pass, grind it out, and the like hero challenge stuff, and you'd probably be able to afford the ten dollar pass that's coming in January between like then and now. But I mean, we'll have to see uh, at launch. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you're excited for Marvel Rivals, be sure to leave me a like. Um, if you want to check out more Marvel Rivals content, be sure to subscribe. I've got stuff coming down the line. I'm going to be playing the game a lot <laughs> coming up here and doing like guides and stuff and all the characters, cool moments, stuff like that. You know, just general content on the game. So if you'd like to sub, I would appreciate it. If not, uh, thank you for watching regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let me know if you're playing already. Uh... Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite hero? Let me know what's good. I still, I st I'm probably on right now to be honest, but <laughs> I still read it. Don't worry.